Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be a review on the drone that I bought to improve my videos on YouTube presentations. Um, now, I bought this drone in June of this year for my birthday, which was in July. And here we are today in November, and I've just got all the paperwork through. Um, so I'm going to explain as to the reasons why it took so long for this drone to be registered and the problems that I had and the drone that I'm going to talk about is the JJR C X12. What I think about it, how much it cost, and the problems that I've had with registering it. So, I bought this drone, as I say, to improve my videos about living in Thailand, and I had the intentions of everywhere I went, I was going to take some drone footage also. But the problem with having a drone in Thailand is the is the registration process and I haven't flown the drone because the registration has to be approved before you can fly it otherwise there's a 40,000 baht fine and up to five years imprisonment if you're flying a drone without the appropriate licenses I watch YouTube on many reviews with regard to the JJRC X12 drone and it sort of ticked all the boxes from all the drones I looked at. So I bought it and it was 9,000 baht and that was to have the two battery combo. So so you had a bit more flying time. And each battery is supposed to give you about 25 minutes flying time. It had a three axle gimbal. So it was sort of competing against the, the Maverick for obviously a lot cheaper than what the Maverick was gonna cost. So I bought it in the June time. And the problem started really once I got the, the drone delivered. Looking at the drone, filling all the paperwork out, couldn't find a serial number on the drone. So without a serial number, there's no tracing facilities to say who the drone belongs to if there was an accident and things like that. So you couldn't register the drone unless it had a serial number. The insurance company recommended that I made my own serial number up and and pasted it or stuck it to the inside of the drone then went from there. Um, so I went down this route and I went to the National Broadcasting Transmission Corporation, I think that's where it is, in Thailand, and I registered the drone and they said the same thing, no serial number, so we couldn't register the drone. So speaking to one of their top managers, my wife obviously translated, and they said the insurance company would be happy with the the serial number that I put on to it and they'd be happy to insure it on that purpose, the fact that I put the my own serial number on it. So we did that. They filled out another form because it was it was imported from China, so there was some more paperwork that they kindly did for me and it took a day or so to get the, the certificate from them. So now I've got the insurance. £60 for the insurance and now I've got the from the National Broadcasting Telecommunications Department to say I'm licensed to say I can fly the drone. Now I have to go to the civil aviation people with regard to registering with them and that was just online. So I submitted all the documentations and it got refused because it was a made up serial number. Having spoke to them over the, on the telephone and I said that the National Broadcasting and Transmission Service said no problem because they give me a certificate and the insurance company said they give me a certificate. I resubmitted all the forms again and hopefully that they would pass it to be um, signed off so they could give me a certificate. Then I'd have all the certificates and I'd be able to fly the drone. Come back another answer, no. Insufficient paperwork. So I failed for the second time because they said the paperwork all wasn't in order and I had to download it in PDF form. So okay, downloaded all the PDF forms again, got a, another email off them asking for a copy of the certificate they got from the National Broadcasting Communications Department, sent them that and here we are now in November and yes, I got my certification so all granted all legal all above board so now no more 40,000 baht fines because I've got all the paperwork to be able to do it so now I'm at my wife's farm and I thought oh, okay I'll, 
I've got the opportunity now I'll take some drone footage of my wife's farm and all excited charge the batteries up put the battery in the, the drone there's a little bit of footage of my wife's farm and then I had to recharge the batteries up again so I put both batteries on charge got up in the morning and this is what's happened both of my batteries I don't know whether you could see that I don't know whether you can see that really but both of my batteries have, have expanded and will not fit in the drawer now by putting them on charge both batteries have ex sort of expanded and useless now absolutely useless so you can't put the batteries in the drone because they're too big and over expanded now whether were the faulty batteries or whether it was a faulty charger i don't know so now i've got in touch with jjrc their website and see what happens with that but five months of, of waiting and waiting and waiting and finally i got one flight out of it and both the batteries are kaput so I'm going to buy the DJI Mini 2. DJI is renowned for quality and products and it's 19,000 baht for the combo with the three batteries compared to the 9,000 baht I paid for mine. I wasted 9,000 baht. So for anybody who wants to buy a cheap drone for filming around Thailand, the problems you're going to have is that the cheap drones invariably don't have a serial number if you don't have a serial number then you can't fly the drone and if you can't fly the drone it's a waste of money so don't buy a cheap drone in the first place or if you're going to buy a drone ensure it's got a serial number printed on the drone itself otherwise you'll have all the problems that I had it just took forever to be able to get the license and so disappointing today when I tr fly the drone and the second time I flew it the batteries just expanded and the drone's useless now so fingers crossed what JJRC says but there was no warranty provided when I bought it five months ago so I can't see them doing anything whatsoever if you're going to buy gear to do any filming with buy quality gear that's what I would recommend I've learnt my lesson now about buying cheap cheap things it's usually about half the price of what you'd pay for a, a normal piece of equipment but it's beautiful here in my wife's farm I wish I could have took more videos but you can see where I've got a little bit and so heed my warnings heed my lesson don't get burnt buying cheap drones over here in Thailand the procedures have got to go through are ridiculous but it's what Thailand requires so from Les, living the dream in Thailand, bye for now.